Well, we're certainly going to keep the inspiring stories going. And we're also excited to meet the heroes behind the All Hearts Foundation Wolf Sanctuary in Hartebeer Sport, Northwest Province. Now, they are the voice for the voiceless. And let's take a look. Some animals need us to step in and assist with rescuing them because they're not always able to care for themselves. And especially with the wolves, a lot of people have gotten these animals as pets, which then makes them extremely dependent, which is something we call imprintation, especially with wild animals. This is when an animal, a wild animal specifically, becomes extremely dependent on a human to feed them, provide them with everything that they need, not just dietary requirements, shelter, a safe environment. And then that's where we come into play because these animals would never be able to be released into the wild, in turn never being able to hunt, etc., and live that complete natural life. So that's where we come in to assist them and just providing them with a natural environment that is as close to what they could possibly be offered. So some of the key goals and visions for us is to implement more stricter rules within our nature conservation guidelines because they don't have that. They don't because they're exotic, they're not indigenous to South Africa. So our, one of our key goals is to try and change that, where you can't just have a wolf as a pet, because they're not pets. So one of the challenges we find is feeding wolves, right? They've got to have a substantial diet, they've got to eat their right dietary requirements, they can't be living on dog kibble, they need to eat raw. We feed out here at uh, All Arts Foundation, we feed out full birds, full chickens which is good for their calcium within, within the feathers. They get all the other nutrients and stuff from the organs within the bird. We also, we feed out beef. And so that is one thing that we do find is a, a very key point on looking after these animals is their diet requirements. So these wolves all have different personalities, just like us, we're not all the same. So each one has a very unique personality. Some of them are timid, some of them are shy, some of them are friendly, some of them are aggressive. Um, so not just specific personality types for every single wolf. So the broader work that our nonprofit organization does is quite vast. We basically look after everything with a beating heart. We don't just look after the wolves, we look after many animals. We look after the elderly, we do community outreaches. Um, we go and we clothe and feed the homeless and assist wherever we can. So we have taken in some trauma cases. So a trauma case is basically an animal that has been subjected to extreme abuse um, or neglect. We have a small little dog here called Shimbungu. He was basically either severely abused or injured by a vehicle in Namibia. He had his ears cut off. Then we have another dog here called Spirit. He's an Alaskan Malamut. He was tied up and thrown into a river in Chartwell four ways six years ago, bound by his front and back legs. So his rehabilitation as well as Shimbungu's is something that's ongoing, but both animals are thriving, they're happy, they're existing, they're surviving. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about enriching the animals' lives, offering all of our animals, including the wolves, the five freedoms of animal welfare, and just ensuring that they're provided with the safety, security, and love that they need. My most important yeah. is we just want them to be safe from where we've rescued them from and try and continue the, the great work we do when it comes to education. And so that is our main thing, is just keeping them safe and, and teaching people about the species and uh, just trying to do more than what we do at the, this present time. I'm very passionate working with Lex. We're a good team together. We strive for the same goals. Education is one of the main things we do, is educate public on the species being the wolf. We really enjoy it. So I find myself and Lexi are a good team, team asset to each other. And then also our other teammates, which is our staff. They, are, they play a big role here. So yeah, as a team, we, we're great. We, we're doing good things. So our future and vision is trying to secure the property that we own currently now. That is the most important thing in order to keep our sanctuary going for our animals first and foremost. And then that allows us to expand more, take in more rescues, take in more wolves, be able to build more, be able to get up our volunteer program where we built the correct accommodation for our volunteers to come in and help us to start being able to have people working hands on with us, educating the public, spreading the word, and then to become part of rehabilitation projects done the right way. The public can show their support for All Arts Foundation by going to www.allartsfoundation.co.za. There they will be linked to all of our social media forums and they'll be guided on how they can help from there.
Oh, what beautiful and majestic animals and what a passionate and skilled group of individuals looking after everything with a beating heart. Well, be sure to lend your support to visit this worthy cause by visiting their website and checking out their social pages.